Hi everybody, it's Jim from Pure Wave Audio. Today we are looking at the Loughton Eden microphone. So what I have right here is the Loughton Eden microphone. And this is Loughton's flagship microphone. It is a beast. Uh, this thing is not something you want to put on a light, flimsy microphone stand. You want a nice, solid stand to hold this thing up. That being said, this microphone has been used on many different albums from lead vocals, possibly guitar for David Crosby's latest album. Uh, Sarah Bareilles just recorded vocals on this microphone. Cardi B has recorded all her vocals on this microphone. Um, so this microphone is getting a lot of recognition. Now, what I will say about Loughton in general is it's a solid company. Uh, the owner is just an awesome guy and he has gone through painstaking lengths to get the right components, test these microphones thoroughly. Um, but what he's going for is a vintage vibe. So if you're looking for like an ultra modern, you know, sounding microphone, Loughton, in general is not it. However, on this microphone, as well as the Atlantis, they have what is called kind of an EQ curve, if you will, but it's not EQ. It's actually just components that create these forward and gentle and neutral uh, modes that they have. And so if you want a little bit more top end, you pop it into the forward mode. If you want it to be, you know, just natural in general, Normal's fine, and then if you want to really smooth it out, pop it into general gentle mode, and uh, it really changes the character of mic. This mic also has figure eight, cardioid, and omni, and it has flat, a kick drum roll off, and then a vocal roll off. So I don't know the exact specs, but let's assume a kick drum roll off is somewhere around 35 or 40, and the vocals might be somewhere in the 80 to 120 range or something like that. Um, so with all those options, you could actually do a lot of different sounds with this microphone. Um, now, I will say from my test, I am kind of more of a modern guy than vintage, even though I love the U67. But I think for me, the U67 kind of falls in a modern range when you add just a hair top end to it. Um, this mic definitely sounds a little bit more robust and low end to me compared to something like a U67. Uh, a little bit more... Um, I don't know. You know, when I look at the grass, it shows that it scoops out in the lower mid range, but to me, it sounds like it has a beefy low end. So um, that's my take on it. I was going to do a few samples talking into this microphone so you could kind of hear uh, what the microphone actually sounds like. So right now I have this microphone live and I am in the normal position. So right now we are talking normal. It's a regular sound, and now I'm going to flip over to what I believe is forward. And now we are in the forward position, which should be brighter. Uh, again, these are not EQ components, if you will, that is creating this. This is just different types of circuitry, and the coloration of that circuitry is creating these modes. So I'm going to switch back to normal. So now we're back into normal mode. And now I'm going to go back to or go to gentle. So now I'm in gentle mode. And as you could hear that, you know, it's a little bit smoother, a little bit maybe rolled off, a little bit more super vintage, however you want to explain it, that's fine. Um, so now I'm going to go back to normal. And now I'm just going to show you the different uh, roll offs. So there we go, we have a uh, roll off number one, and now we're gonna switch to roll off number two. And so that gives you an idea of what you could do there. Now I'm back into flat. And uh, of course it has Omni, figure eight. Um, you know, the EQ curves are a little bit different when, when, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit those anyways, even though. So this is Omni mode. Uh, I'm not sure if that has changed the characteristics much, but now we're back in cardioid mode. We'll see if it's changed the characteristics. 
and now we're in figure eight mode and we'll see if that changed the characteristics. So all in all, this mic is really nice. Again, it is heavy, so you need a really sturdy stand uh, to use it. But uh, I got this microphone, brand new, a stock microphone. I've pulled it out specifically just for this review. I've done a few tests on acoustic guitars and different things like that just for me to get acclimated with this microphone. But what I'd like to do is instead of putting it up open box on my website to sell it, uh, why don't you guys just email me directly. Go to purewaveaudio.com. If you're interested in the microphone, I'll knock like 200 bucks off of it. Uh, I literally have the case, all the paperwork, everything. It's only been used for like two hours. And, uh, you know, the first person that emails me, I'll send them a PayPal invoice and uh, get a deal on a brand new microphone with full warranty. So for more information, go to purewaveaudio.com. If you love what we're doing here on the website, on, on the YouTube channel, uh, definitely subscribe and hit the notification buttons. And we're just going to try to, you know, get as much information out for people as possible. If you're looking for certain things, um, feel free to comment and say, hey, I would love you to, you know, talk about this topic. And if I can, I will. And uh, go from there. So I appreciate it. Go to purewaveaudio.com. Appreciate it. Have a good one. <laughs>